Design Spark is a global platform for students and design engineers looking to build innovative solutions utilising our tools and resources. Part of our mission is to educate, influence, practice and promote engineering responsibility. Air quality is a global issue that affects everybody. So we invited engineers from the Design Spark community to take one of our environmental sensor development kits and to deploy them into the places where they lived and worked to see how that air quality impacted their lives. Around two years ago, we became aware of a conference that was going to be held in Malta by RS Components, during which they were going to take the opportunity to launch the ESDK air quality device and system. And for us, it was a, it became an immediately an opportunity to say, look, this is something that we could introduce inside the schools and bring it close to the children to increase awareness. Official reports indicate that in this country we have doubled the pollution thresholds of the WHO and therefore we feel that it is something that we need to continue creating awareness about and there's no better way uh, of creating awareness than bringing it as close as possible to the younger generation. Good morning everyone. Today we'll be introducing a very, very, very important and uh, interesting topic related to air quality. Air quality is the degree to which the air that we breathe is suitable or clean enough, both for us humans and for the rest of the environment. What's the air quality index? The air quality index is like sort of a, a system where we can measure how poor, how pure, or how the, the amount of toxins that is in the air and that is affecting us. Miss Cecilia came up with this bear. How does this bear work? Hi, I'm Cecilia Hillway and I created the Breathe Better Bear because I wanted to make a serious and often scary subject like air quality more approachable and um, I love making projects with animals so I made him into a bear as an homage to Smokey the Bear and uh, it means a lot to me that uh, it's being used to educate children and hopefully it'll inspire them to create their own projects. The installation of the Breathe Better Bear makes the readings that can be seen on screen on the air quality monitor more visual, more impactful, especially for, for younger children in the primary sector. Um, uh, it, it, it is invaluable, the, 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 the way that the, the Breed Better Bear shows whether the, the air is of good quality or, or, or of a lesser quality. Uh, we have a number of chemistry teachers who, who are working with chemistry students and they are going to uh, embark on a project where they are going to uh, take data over a span of time so to look at how air quality varies and perhaps um, look into um, different data um, from different schools because uh, as you know uh, these sensors are installed in different schools around the island so they can compare uh, data coming from different schools uh, on a span of time so they have an idea how and why perhaps this uh, data is varying uh, we actually had the opportunity thanks to the to the education department in Malta to take over with us to Italy a sensor one of your sensors and uh, we had the opportunity to monitor the air quality in the school in Italy uh, and compare it simultaneously with the data we've been collecting here in Malta so we feel that there is a, look, a big scope for expanding this project and I think there are, let's say, two ways that this can be done. First of all, we're looking into installing more and more air quality monitors inside more schools. Uh, we've had a huge collaboration by IRS in this case to provide us more devices and a lot of interest from the schools to have more devices installed. That will give us opportunities to continue increasing the awareness and have more and more data. But then, of course, for us as well, it's also a project which is interesting from an IT point of view because of the implementation, the IoT implementation and then the underlying technical architecture. 
And we feel that if we if we delved deeper into the technical infrastructure and architecture of the project, we could be able to increase the scope of functionality uh, of, of the device itself and of the ecosystem, perhaps increasing the number of devices that can connect or maybe the software that we can install or the user interfaces that we can install. And that will itself help uh, to increase the, the expandability of the project and also its versatility. It's amazing to see how engineering can impact people's lives, particularly with these children who have a greater understanding of air quality issues by utilising the bear and the kit and the environment around them.